So what's going on everyone? I just came from California from a vacation. Um, I brought this backpack with me everywhere in Disneyland and also um, everywhere in California. Went on a little bit of a hike, went to Griffith Observatory, uh, Super Mario World as well. Um, this backpack is really good. I also brought this uh, in a while back here uh, in Mexico. So I just brought it with me in a few trips now. And this is what it looks like after a while. Um, it's been through rough as well. I just tossed it. Sometimes it would like land on the ground, kind of drag a little bit. And and for me, I think it, it's uh, pretty durable as you can see here. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a review and also look at the backpack internally, what it could fit and you know if it's good enough for what you want to do this version is the peter mckinnon nomadic backpack which is a 37 liter backpack which you can um, actually expand up to 40 liters so l let's just uh, open up what i have here i haven't unpacked anything yet it is just straight out of my um my vacation so let's just look at it so in, in the front here they have loops that you can pretty much use this side loops right here so that you can pretty much put a tripod mount you mount the tripod here while you're traveling right in the middle so that's really useful for that you can buy extra of these it comes with two already which i use on the sides here as you can see you can have your tripod right in the middle like so and strap it on strap it onto there or you can have it on the side as well if you don't have a water bottle this version only has the one bot water bottle side as well as you can see here this part right here is magnetic let's take off this tripod I'll show you like if you don't have anything in here it will just stick onto the side like so and it'll stay there as you can see there's magnetic really useful to have on the other side it has a quick quick pocket for your camera as you can see here this i have my r5c stuck on there a bit of clothes up here as well pretty deep as well uh, I'll show you guys later on but this has a nice material this brown material right here protects your camera from getting scratched very nice a few holes as well where you can hold it as you can see here on the side one in the bottom as well right there you can do that like that or on the top like so looking at the front again here if you have more clothes you can pretty much just open this part right here a few compartments here I didn't put any clothes here because in the airplane I want to have more of a minimalist type of uh, trip so I didn't put anything on here but it's quite a bit that you can use this for for example I would have a coat here and pretty much clip it on here have a sweater or something like that I even have my air tag right there a few pockets as well stretchable for underwear small raincoat or something like that and then this part on this side as well it has a few pockets as you can see there pretty big pockets one big one right here where you can stash a few stuff as well again I didn't use this part at all during the trip but this can fit up to seven days worth of clothes this is also expandable as you can see here on the side if you open this part up this part will expand as you can see there quite quite deep as well pretty nice 
Now everything, just to keep to keep in mind, everything has to be open on its back, pretty much horizontal all the time. It's hard to open it like from a top like this. You can if it's only halfway, or else you'd end up spilling your your stuff out. So I recommend just doing it pretty much how I'm doing it right now, just horizontally. There you go. Now let's look at the back. This is the other where you could put all your camera gears and whatnot. In the back here has this traps as well. I like how it, it's supported up here with a buckle. Supports the weight right there. And then once you're are traveling, hiking or something like that, you have these straps as well right here to loop it around your chest like so. Pretty nice, handy to have because it'll help you carry it. This part right here, I was able to stick my Rode Micro uh, wireless go mic on here so while I was vlogging I was able to put that on there pretty nice I've also attached this um, little clip quick release clip for my camera while I'm traveling as well you might have seen a video of that on my shorts I like the design of this as well Pirate Life by Peter McKinnon right there pretty nice this part as well as you can see it has a loop which you can put on top of your uh, carry-on there you go one part right here it has these uh, waist straps which is really handy as well for carrying stuff you can also remove this it is only attached with a velcro inside so you could pull this out by just detaching the velcro inside there you go pretty nice and then if you don't need it, you just stash it away. And it's pretty easy to install. Just the Velcro on the back, right in the middle. Right there. You just put it back like so. There you go. And you're done. That's it. Now let's open up the big compartment here. Oh, first of all, before we get there, there's this part as well right here where your laptop goes. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro in here right now, which is fits right in there just enough. Pretty snug though. So right there, there you go. 16 inch MacBook Pro able to fit right in here. There you go. Fits right in without any problem whatsoever. Now let's look at the big compartment here. I love when they check my bag in the airport, and you will get checked because of um, pretty much a camera inside of this. They don't know how to open it. Uh, again, it has to be horizontal wise and you have to be on that side and then it opens this way or else you end up spilling everything onto the one side. If you open this, let's just move this on the side for now. Here you can see all my little accessories, cables up here as well. And this part you can open up and you have another slot for a laptop or a, an, an iPad. I, I was able to fit two MacBooks here, one on the outside and one on the inside. I was able to fit a 14 inch MacBook here as well. Really nice. Moving on to the big part of the backpack here. I have a few of my stuff up to here a few cables up here and most of this is taken up by my clothes. So here you'll be able to fit pretty much equivalent to three days or three outfits worth of clothes here. Got a few cables here as well. Pretty much unorganized right there. 
couple of shirts here. There you go. I was able to bring my Backbone um, Android controller as well. Little stick for my Insta360. It has this part as well, which is the Rode Micro Wireless Go 2. This Zippo, this LiPo bag that I use, LiPo bag for explosion proof as well for my batteries. As you can see there. Couple of lenses. I have the Makey EF to RF there as well. As you can see. Which has an ND filter built in to it. Really nice. And the 50mm 1.8 lens. Which I use mostly for um, portrait photos. And if it's low light. Couple of things here for the Apple Watch as well. And I have the 24 to 70 mil here with my RF R5C. With my all around lens, as you can see. Pretty much I use this for the most part when I'm traveling. I also have the quick release plate there for the um, for the front while I'm traveling. I just put this on my strap and I'm ready to go. Now this is really nice as well. Yeah, pretty much put in together with Velcro as the Pirate Life logo there by Pete. Really nice. You can customize it, fold it as much as you want. It comes with a couple of these, or three of these, I believe. I didn't use the rest of them. I pretty much just have like big compartments like this, and it was good enough for me. I just used this one so that I could separate my lenses. There you go. Again, this is with brown mesh right here. Really nice. Won't scratch your equipment or anything like that. Now, there is a last part of this last pocket in the front which is really useful for your travel documents like your passport close this up and I'll show you this right here this part right here has this right here and inside of this I was able to fit a few stuff like my mic one of my mics pretty much my if I want uh, something that I want to grab right away I put it in here it's my Insta360 right here. It's able to fit a few stuff here as well. Pretty good. That's the rest of that. This also has the Fly the Flag logo on there. RFID safe where you can put your passports on here. I just put my phone on there. But really, you can put your wallet on there while you're traveling. It's all safe and sound. Really good. It's also magnetic, so there you go. Really nice touch. It has this strap as well inside of that for your keys and whatnot. Really good to have. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, this is the review for the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Backpack, 35 liters that can expand up to 42 liters. If you wanna get one of these, I'll link this down below. Go ahead and check that out. Definitely recommend this for everyone who loves to travel just like me and wants to have a minimalist type of setup where you have all your clothes most of your clothes here and probably all your gear as well with you traveling with you which is really nice to do um, you know it gets really tough when you go into the security so this is really nice to have uh, thanks for watching everyone subscribe to my channel hit the like button I'll see you guys next time peace